Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Horde Every Night Ramblin' Man. It is the morning of day 7. The first thing I want to do is spend some skill points that we have. Got three of them. And like I said in the previous episode, I want to start upgrading turret syndrome. But the problem is, to unlock level 1, I have to get intellect to level 6 and we're only at level 3. Now I could put 2 points into intellect, but level 6 of intellect costs 2 points and we only have 1 left. I know this seems kind of like a waste, there's other things we could be investing in, but I'm telling you, Junkie is going to be the reason we make it far in this series, if we make it far. So I'm going to hold on to that one point, and when we get another one, we'll unlock Intellect Level 6 and start upgrading Junkie. Now, first thing I want to do, other than that, is get the sneaky loot out of the house on the hill. A lot of you pointed out, which I forgot, we can just break in through the uh, hatch underneath the front porch, but we got a bear right here that we're gonna have to deal with first. So, what I'm gonna do is drop Junkie down right here, and then hit this bear in the ass with an arrow. Oh, got him right in the asshole, now he's pissed off. And just like that, the mighty beast has fallen. Man, Junkie really is the MVP of this series, huh? I used to think he was my sidekick, turns out I'm his sidekick. All right, so again, like a lot of you have pointed out and I totally forgot, all we have to do is bust open the porch right here. There'll be an open hatch and we can go right down there and grab the main loot. I'm gonna try not to wake up any zombies in the process. We might, but it, it shouldn't be an issue. We should be able to get down there, grab the loot and get out even if we do wake up some zombies because I believe there's a vault door down there. So let's just see how quickly we can get this done. Uh, we're waking some up. Let's go ahead and close this door. And just grab all this shit as quick as we can. There we go, some ammo. Alright. So far, pretty good score. I don't think there's anything up here. Nope. And this thing is locked, so hopefully we can crack into it with the lock picks that we have. Nice, whole bunch of stuff. I'll take all that. Was I able to fit it all? Yes. Alright, let's get the hell out of this death trap. We can go see both traders. They both restock today. We'll sell all this shit we don't need or want, buy as much ammo as we can, then we'll find a place to call home. Now, something I wanted to mention, the channel is very close to hitting 150,000 subscribers, which is unreal. I can't thank you guys enough for all of the support there. It really does mean a lot. And some of you have suggested that at 150,000, I do a Q&A video, and I think that's a great idea. I'm going to go ahead and check out this dump real quick, because we have some inventory space that we can make use of, and we might as well make the most of it before we go see the trader. Maybe we can find some cool shit that we can use or sell in here. So yeah, at 150, I will do the Q&A video. I think it'll be a fun video to do. Oh, I see the shadow of a zombie. And it will give you guys the opportunity to ask me the questions you want to see me answer and also get to know me a little bit better. So let's get to 150 as quick as possible. You guys know I never ask you to subscribe, but if you like watching my videos and you're not subscribed already, just consider it. Uh, it really does help me out and the channel as well. And something else you should also know, YouTube changed something, so now when I look at my comments in the back end, I can tell who's subscribed to the channel and who's not. Everyone who is subscribed, YouTube puts a little icon by your name. So all of you guys that are like, hey, I love your videos, but you're not subscribed, I can see you now, you little sneaky fucks. Oh shit. <laughs> so, you know, you can't hide from me anymore. You know, I know that you're not subscribed, but I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm just giving you shit. If there is some reason or another you don't want to subscribe to the channel, that is completely fine. I would never treat you any differently. If I didn't see the icon by your name, it's not like I wouldn't respond to you. I would never be a dick like that. I'm just saying. I can tell now, so you can't be sneaky. So if you like the videos and you're not subscribed already, please consider doing it. But if not, that's fine too. We can still be friends, and I still love you. Just you coming around, watching my stuff, and leaving a nice comment is more than enough for me. Nothing. Are we just wasting our time in this POI or what? Let's get over here. I mean, there's not going to be any main loot or anything like that. There's only been two zombies. But there might be something. I'm curious at this point. We might as well continue pushing on. We've got a ladder right here. 
Oh, there's a crate over there. It's better than nothing. Nothing in the trash. I guess we gotta make this jump, though. Here we go. Alright, and there's an ammo pile. Sweet. It was kind of worth it. Alright, let's go see the traders. Sell what we can and hopefully buy enough ammo to at least get us through tonight. Oh, you know what? There's a swimming pool in the backyard of this house right here. Let me uh, fill up these glass jars while we're at it. We're just about at a full stack of um, murky water. And once we get to a full stack, I'm just going to stop collecting it. And we are. We're at a full stack now. I'm going to scrap the primitive bow, bring down the level 3 wooden bow, repair it. And that's what we're going to use. We'll sell the level 2 wooden bow at the trader. Let's get a move on. Well, he doesn't have much 7.62, but I'm going to buy everything he has. He's got AP 9mm. He's got AP 7.62. And he's got magnum ammo, but that's not going to help us. All right, before I start spending money on... I'm going to buy these 20 iron arrows. That's not much. But before I spend any money on the AP ammo, let's go see what Jen has. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do this camp real quick. It's on the way. And maybe we can find some more stuff to sell because we are kind of running a little low on coin. Ah, uh, bird. Let's get in here. Oh, he's gonna just follow me in, I guess. Now he's stuck in there, though. Let's use the spear on his ass. Come here, fucker. Gotta love these cheap kills. Ah. Uh, you also gotta love when they teleport. Scam station is destroyed. There's a couple of painkillers inside of it. A couple more painkillers right here, and I believe that's about it. Grab these chairs. These scrap for iron. Got some trash right here. Nothing. All right. Let's roll out. Sup, Jen? Let me see what you got stashed under that lab coat. I've got it all. She's got it all. She wants to be my girlfriend so bad. It's never gonna happen, Jen. That was a one-time deal. And that's it. <laughs> Speaking of which, in the last video, someone commented, uh, here, I'll just put it up on the screen so you can see it. And it made me laugh, so I pinned it to the top. And I'm going to start doing that moving forward. In every episode, I'm going to pin my favorite comment because you guys are always saying some funny shit and making me laugh, and you guys deserve some recognition for that. All right, I'm going to buy 200 rounds of 9mm. And then I'll use a repair kit to repair the pistol so the health is nice and full for tonight. And then let's go find a place to me if you need call home supplies. for the night and fight the horde. And maybe we'll make one last trip to the trader that's closest to our town. And uh, use whatever coin we have left to buy as much of that AP 9mm that he had. Alright, that should be good for now. Let's turn all of that iron into junk turret ammo. There we go. And that should be plenty for tonight. Uh, we'll get rid of this clay soil. Let's make four more bandages. That will max out that stack. Get rid of the cloth. All right. Let's go find a home. Oh, here comes a supply drop. To the southeast. Let me just see where that's at. All right, I'll put a quick waypoint on there, because I don't know if we'll get to that today. Because I'm not going to go off track now and go for it. We have to find a place to call home and get it ready for the horde, and if there's any time left over, then we'll go get the supply drop. So I know we already held down a mobile home twice, and last night it didn't work out so well. But I'm thinking we can get away with it one more time. Oh, I thought that was steel. It's iron. Uh, these two are iron. These might be steel. Let's check. 
That's got a thousand hit points. I'm waking zombies up. Oh, that's got ten thousand. The bottom is iron. The top is steel. Um, let's let this zombie out. Come on. There we go. Deal with these guys, and let me take a closer look at this trailer here. And I think that's the way we're going to go. At least one more night. I think we can pull off a mobile home one more night. I have a better idea than what we did last night. Actually, it's the same idea. It's just a different setup, and I think it'll work. All right, let's just make sure we're clear in here. I imagine we are, but always good to make sure. An ammo pile right here. Nice. 40 more rounds in 9mm. Okay, we need to have an escape route onto the rooftop, which uh, I'm sure we can make right here. Yeah, it's a thousand hit points, no big deal. Can break right through there. Got a zombie beating on something, it's probably our neighbor. I think I woke him up when I hit his trailer with my axe to see how many hit points it had. Nothing. Let me grab uh, these rebar frames. Gonna need those. Yeah, it is our neighbor. All right, we gotta completely get rid of this wooden deck out here. It's not gonna do us any good. The zombies are gonna get caught on it. They're gonna beat on it. And if they destroy it, we're gonna be screwed. All right, now, as per usual, we're gonna put a frame in the doorway, but we're gonna use a rebar frame. And when you upgrade this with concrete, it goes directly to reinforced concrete. So that's good. I'm gonna have to knock out pretty much all this shit in here. We need room to put down junky. But I'm also going to make three wood plates. Yeah. Okay, let's bring those down. I'm going to put one on top of this block. And if I just use that one, if it got destroyed or if this block got destroyed, that plate would fall. But by putting a plate here and here, those two will hold the one up in the middle. So if they destroy the block first, then uh, this plate will hold. So it's just another uh, layer of security. You know, if they destroy the plate first, then we still have the reinforced block, you know, so that will help out a little bit. All right, now we've got our escape route up to the rooftop. But instead of putting a hatch here, I'm just going to make sure I have wooden bars on me. So if we do have to escape to the roof, we will, and then I'll drop down wooden bars. And that should work out better than the hatch. Because from what I understand, they'll still try and get up the ladder. The bars will prevent them from getting up, though, and we can just shoot down on them. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. I'm really hoping that we can hold them here in the doorway. Now, I can't put the frame here, because if I did, I'd have to knock that roof tile out as well. Because there's no way I'll be able to put Junkie down facing the door with the block there. So I'm going to put it right here. And that'll be fine. Junkie will just be right in their face, and I can stand right next to him. Oh shit, that might be a problem right there. Let's knock these out. I don't know if I'm going to be able to knock this tank out, though. I'm pretty sure that has high hit points. I hope that's not going to be a way for them to get up on the rooftop, because <laughs> if they can get up on the roof, then we're completely fucked. We're basically building our tomb right now, if they can get up on the roof. Um, hold on, let me take care of this guy real quick. Alright, that's gone. Um, yeah, this tank is 7,000 hit points, and it's in, it's in pieces, so it's not like, you know, 7,000 hit points and it's gone. Uh, we'd have to do that multiple times. We'd never get it done by the nightfall. Um, I could knock this out here, though. Oh, this end piece has 1,000 hit points, but it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, that's gonna just have to, uh stay the way it is. And I'm knocking the um, table out underneath it because, you see, I can 
get caught on that lip there. So the zombies um, could jump up onto that lip and then jump onto the tank and then onto the roof. So hopefully, without the table here, they won't be able to do that. All right, let's just make sure. Yeah. So without the table, they can't get up onto the tank like that and uh, therefore won't be able to get up onto the roof, hopefully anyway. I mean, if they end up piling up back here, then they will be able to because what they'll do is they'll pile up by the tank, one zombie will jump onto another zombie and then onto the tank and then onto the roof. So basically, I'm putting all of my eggs into the I hope they don't do that basket <laughs> because if they do, we're dead. But what I will do is, we'll be at the front window with Junkie set up and everything, and once the horde starts, if they don't immediately start coming for the front door, I'll grab Junkie and head up for the rooftop. And if they do start piling up back here, we'll, we'll be able to kill some of them, but if it starts getting overwhelming, then we'll go for the bicycle and make a run for it. All right, there's the front entrance. And maybe we'll put some spikes around here and that'll be it. All right, before we make one last run to the trader, let's have a look in our neighbor's house here, see if there's anything we might want to bring with us and sell. Considering we've already killed the one zombie that was inside, we might as well, right? Before I forget, we might as well mark this uh, POI on the map, since this is definitely the one we're using tonight. Put an X on there, call it day seven, and we're good. All right, let's go to the trader. We do have a few things we can sell, and with the little bit of coin we have, uh, I'll probably just go ahead and buy as, ma as much of that uh, AP 9mm as uh, I can. All right, here we go. Like I said earlier, if they don't come right to the front door, I'll grab Junkie and we'll head to the roof. I hear them coming. Oh, it sounds like they're breaking through the spikes. Right? That's got to be them breaking through the spikes. Oh, I hear a dog. Here we go. Beautiful. Now we just keep Junkie shooting and we keep an eye on the health of these two blocks because we've got concrete on us so we can repair them as they get damaged. Oh shit, who hit me? Oh fuck, how'd you get in here? Oh shit, they're coming in from the hole in the fucking roof. That means some of them are getting up the backside. See what happens when you leave your backside exposed? Someone's bound to come in it. Oh shit, dude, we're fucking dead. They're bleeding out. That's it. There's not much we can do. Um. Oh, I've got these bars on me. What if we put them right here? Oh, <laughs> that stopped her. Delayed my death for a moment anyway. Die, bitches. Oh, we look clear right now. I can't get through here, though. I'm going to have to break this block open. All right. Let's repair this. Try and prevent them from breaking through the front, at least. And I have three hit points, so probably should use a first aid kit. There we go. Let's reload Junkie. Holy shit, man. Let's try and thin the herd a little bit. No more are coming in through the roof, so that's a good sign. I was going to hop up there and see what's going on, but... I think they're all at the front here right now. Alright, I'm going to make some more wooden bars just in case we need them. I'm going to need at least one thing of bars if we do have to retreat to the rooftop. Because the one I had on me that we were going to use, I had to drop down in that other room to prevent being murdered by nurses. What a fucking mess, dude. I'm going to make myself another wood frame and drop it right here. I'm not going to upgrade that, but at least that will give us a moment of delay if zombies do drop in from the roof. You know, because they'll have to stop and break that frame for a second. So, hopefully if any more come in through the roof... That will be our saving grace right there. 
Well, I said before, Junkie was the MVP of the series, and he's definitely proving me right right now. We've got no more AK ammo. Got one more shell for this shotgun. We have a really good amount of 9mm, so... That's the only thing that's keeping me feeling good right now. Alright, 348 rounds. That should be enough. Plus, I'm gonna get a little bit of melee action here, too, once the, uh... It's not so fucking crazy. But we're doing okay. We have, uh, a decent amount of concrete left. Enough to, I think, get us through the night, because it doesn't cost much to keep repairing this. The plate is... It has taken a little bit of damage, but not much. Nothing worth repairing right now. Aw, oh, shit. Alright, he's dead. I hate when they... Oh, shit. Yeah, I hate when they glitch through this little opening. You know, that's the one thing that's keeping me nervous about using a melee weapon. Let me reload Junkie. Aw, oh, shit. I'm not gonna be able to put Junkie down until this body despawns. Right? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Alright. Another one got through. Oh, fuck. Shit, my pistol wasn't loaded. Dude. Insanity. If we do make it through the night, this is definitely the last time we can use a fucking mobile home for a base. Alright, that plate is starting to take a good amount of damage. Let's get it repaired. So far, though, no cops, no radiated zombies. I wasn't expecting radiated zombies tonight. I was kind of half expecting a cop, and it's still early, so... We might see one, because this crowd is not letting up, dude. They're fucking relentless. Let's go, Junkie. I am so glad I took the time to mine a bunch of iron today, because we're going to make use of all of the junk turret ammo we crafted. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I was gonna say Big Mama just teleported in, but she didn't. There's a hole in the ceiling. That's not good. We gotta keep them from piling up here, otherwise they're gonna start coming in through that hole. Alright, I was trying to kill the dog. Oh, shit, Mo made it in. Fucking die, Mo. I was trying to get that dog killed. And Big Mama squeezed her way through. She's dead. Oh, she's blocking my shot. <laughs> oh my god, I, I really do love the mayhem of all of this. Go ahead, Junkie. Go back to work. Now, even though the size of the horde doesn't seem to be letting up any, I am starting to feel a bit more comfortable at this point. I feel like we can easily continue on this path until the night is over. Obviously, I'm feeling comfortable. I'm using a melee weapon. Which is nice. You know, I mean, the more 9mm we can conserve for tomorrow night, the better. Oh, Big Mama got through. Nah, she's dead. Get out of here, Big Mama. Alright, the plate is at 100% health. Let's try and get this uh, reinforced concrete block back up to full. All right, let's reload, Junkie. Oh, damn. He came in through the hole in the ceiling. Uh, <laughs> why can't I keep the fucking pistol loaded? Chill, buddy. All right. Let's load, Junkie. Get him back down. I can't believe how well this is working. Other than the, the uh, zombies getting in through the ceiling in the beginning of all of this. Yeah, it's working out exactly as I planned. And it's working out well. Now, if cops were involved, and they were exploding and puking, and they were radiated zombies, which are much harder to kill than normal zombies... I don't know. I mean, we're just getting by with with killing them and repairing. I think we're done. It sounds like there's a spider monkey out there. But I think he's the last one. There's some loot bags down there. I don't see that monkey, though. Oh, shit. There's a bird. Come on, bird. 
Oh, there's a bird inside the uh, mobile home. I'm going to make some frames so I can kind of build a staircase going down. So if I have to get back up to the rooftop uh, quickly, I can. Because I think there's just one zombie down there, but I don't know for sure. Let's get this bird killed. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, there it goes. Well, let's go harvest it. All right, where's he at? There he is. Let's get Junkie down. Now ah, where'd he go? There he is. Where are you, fucker? Stop jumping around. Will you die? Jeez. All right, I think that's it. Grab these loot bags, we'll get back on the rooftop, just in case. And we can mark another successful horde night down in the books. Right, let's get inside because of birds, you know? We're much safer in here. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're enjoying this series because I don't know how much longer it's going to last for. Thank you guys so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Horde every night, Ramblin' Man, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.